good morning student today we will start chapter 5 which is the oscillators so what is oscillator so oscillator is the electronic circuit which can deliver electrical energy of specific frequency so oscillator is nothing but a circuit which can deliver electrical energy of some specific frequency so oscillator can provide sinusoidal or non sinusoidal waveform for specific several frequency so so at any frequency this circuit generate a electrical energy so this circuit is called as a oscillator so oscillator is a circuit which deliver or which provide electrical energy of specific frequency so oscillator can generate frequency from few hertz to several megahertz the oscillator circuit is capable of generating the frequency range from hertz to several megahertz so hertz so frequency range from hertz to megahertz so within that frequency range the this circuit are capable for generating electrical energy or delivering electrical energy of specific frequencies and that the frequency range from hertz to megahertz oscillator receive dc energy and change it into ac energy of desired frequency so oscillator uh, receive dc energy or it uh, receive dc signal and this dc signal is converted into a ac energy or ac signal this output can be used as a energy source for other electrical circuit circuits the output generated from this oscillator circuit can be used as a energy source of other electrical circuit so basically oscillator is nothing but a circuit which generate electrical energy of some specific frequencies and this electrical energy is a converted so this electrical energy can be used to derive any other electronic circuit so the output uh, the, this output can be used as a energy source for other electrical circuits so basically oscillator is a nothing but a energy electrical energy generator circuit electrical energy generator circuit and the electric energy generated by a oscillator can be used as a energy source for any other electronic devices the frequency of oscillator depending upon the component of oscillator so which component we use in oscillator circuits so that component decided the frequency of that oscillator and oscillator generate the electrical energy of that particular frequency and that frequency is depend upon the component that we use in a oscillator circuit so there is no need of external input signal in oscillator it produce output signal by its own so for generating output the oscillator no the so for oscillator there is no need of any input signal without any input signal it generate its output without any input signal oscillator can generate output signal so basically oscillator is the electronic device which is used to deliver, deliver the electrical energy of specific frequencies so it generate the electrical energy and the electric energy generated by a oscillator can be used as a energy source of any other electronic device so oscillator receive dc signal and it convert this dc uh, dc uh, signal energy into ac energy okay so the frequency of oscillator is uh, depend upon the component that we use in a oscillator circuits so which component we use so depending upon that component the frequency of oscillator is uh, decided and according to that frequency it uh, generate the electrical energy okay and oscillator oscillator generate its output without any input signal it generate its own output without using any input signal so this is the oscillators so as amplifier has a negative feedback where oscillator has a positive feedback so amplifier so we uh, we know the amplifiers so transistor is used as a amplifier so in amplifier circuit we use a negative feedback but oscillator use only and only positive feedback oscillator has a positive feedback now the concept of feedback so feedback is a nothing but a some part of output is fed to the input some part of output is fed to the input so feedback is nothing but the process of adding the output to the input is called as a feedback so feed, feedback it's, it's a name indicate that feedback 
that means back that means output is connected to again input that means not whole output but only some part of output is again connected to a input so the process of this is called as a feedback so depending on whether feedback power is in phase or out of phase there are two uh, there are two types of feedback the feedback are of two type negative feedback and positive feedback when we connect the some part of output to a input in in a phase with input in a phase with input then it is positive feedback and we connect the some part of output to a input with out of phase of input out of the phase of input then it is called as a negative feedback the negative feedback is used in a amplifier so what is what is the feedback the feedback is a nothing but it is the process of adding some part of output to a input is called as a feedback so the feedback are of two type negative feedback and positive feedback then what is negative feedback and what is positive feedback so depending on whether feedback power is in phase is in phase of input or out of phase when power is in phase of input that means when we connect the some output to a input then the power of that output and power of that input is same then the feedback is positive feedback but when the power of output and power of input have opposite polarity the power of input and power of output has the opposite polarity then it is it is called as a negative feedback so when output is in phase with input then it is a positive feedback and when output is out of phase that means opposite polarity to a input then it is called as a negative feedback the negative feedback is used in amplifier an oscillator is an amplifier with a positive feedback along with a conventional negative feedback so because of positive feedback it can sustain oscillation without any input signal and the nature of output signal is controlled by a circuit itself so oscillator use positive feedback because it use a positive feedback it can generate its own oscillation so therefore there is no need of any input signal so without any input signal it can it can it is capable of generating its oscillation why because it use positive feedback so because the use of positive feedback without any input signal it and it can generate a output okay so for oscillation so so oscillator so Oscill oscillator generate the frequency uh, oscillator generate the electrical signal so any device that we use as a oscillator have to satisfy the two condition have to satisfy the two condition so for oscillating the circuit has a circuit has to uh, has to obey two conditions and these two conditions are called as a barkhausen criteria so the feedback theorem the feedback network attenuation factor beta so that beta factor we we saw in transistors it is the amplification factor is a less than unity so the feedback factor beta is a less than unity that means the feedback factor beta is a less than 1 the basic inverting amplifier produce phase shift of 180 between input and output so in inverting amplifier there is a phase difference between input and output so there is 180 phase difference between input and output but we know the basic requirement of for condition of oscillation is that total phase shift of the loop gain a beta a is a gain and beta is a feedback factor must be equal to 60 degree or 360 degree so for a complete oscillation for a complete oscillation we need either zero phase or 360 phase why we need zero phase or 360 phase because oscillation 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 is completed when it start from its original when it starts from one point and again it come to a come uh, again it take oscillation and again it come back to its original point and when e when the oscillator come to its original or original point then it cover a 360 degree angle it it cover a 360 angle so for oscillation we need a 360 degree phase so additional phase of 180 must be provided by a feedback network here the input and output provide 180 phase and 
and we but for for oscillator we need 360 uh, 360 phase so additional phase shift is uh, provided by a feedback network so therefore in oscillator we need a feedback network because it uh, provide a additional 180 phase shift because for oscillation we need 360 phase shift or you know the oscillation so oscillation means what it continuously oscillate between two points it continuously oscillate between one point suppose there is a two point point a and a point b it start from point a it start from point a point a and go to the point b and after reaching to the point b it again come to a point a so this is the complete one cycle it start from point a and it end at point a so this is the complete cycle so why why this complete cycle because it start from point a and go to point b and after reaching at point B, it again come to the point A. That means it start from point A and it end the oscillation at point A. That means it cover a complete cycle. So, so you consider a circle. You consider a circle when when you stand on a circle, when you stand on a circular path and you start the running on a circular path. When you where you start mark that point, you suppose there is a circular path and you stand stand on that circular path and you start the running from that from on that circular path so mark the point on which where you start mark the point where you start and on that point from that point you you start running and again come to that point that means you complete that means you complete one circle so the circle the circle the circumference of circle is 360 degree so so for any oscillator so for any oscillator it it requires 360 degree phase shift so the the 180 phase shift is a require is a, uh, is a given by an amplifier so amplifier is a circuit which provide a 180 phase shift between its input and output. Then how we get another 180 phase shift? So the additional 180 phase shift is provided by a feedback network. So therefore in oscillator circuit we use a feedback network. So the total phase shift around the loop become 360. The 180 phase shift is provided by amplifier and another 180 phase shift is provided by a feedback network. So in this way total 360 phase shift is completed. So this is the arrangement of oscillator block diagram of oscillator so this is the am inverting amplifier this inverting amplifier provide 180 phase shift and this is the feedback network this feedback network provide the remaining 180 phase shift okay and the total phase shift is 360 okay so the ivi is the input voltage so the, this input input voltage due to the amplifier then this amplifier generate output depending upon this input voltage so this is the output voltage but the input voltage and output voltage have 180 phase shift why because this this is the positive cycle and this is the negative cycle and this negative cycle is converted into positive cycle so in between these two voltages there are 180 phase shift there are 180 phase shift this is the this why 180 because this positive cycle is converted into this negative cycle and this negative cycle is converted into positive cycle so there is a 180 phase shift between input and output so now the this this now this is the feedback network so uh, this this is the feedback network and the use of this feedback network is to some part of output is given to the input. Some part of output is given to the input. So this is the output. See a negative cycle, negative cycle. This positive cycle, positive cycle. So this is our output. Then this, this output is given to the input by this feedback network. Again, when 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 this feedback network provides the output to an input, then there is another 180 phase shift between this output and that output provided by the input. So negative cycle converted into positive and positive converted into negative. So here the another 180 phase shift we get. So here First 180 phase shift and this is another phase shift which is provided by a feedback network. So in this way total 360 phase shift is done. Consider the voltage VI apply at the input of amplifier. 
hence we get output is equal to a a stands for gain gain into input gain into input so this is amplifier provide the gain and this again multiply multiply to this input signal so after multiplying this again into this input signal we get the output so output is equal to gain into gain which is provided by the amplifier into input signal okay now the feedback voltage vf vf means feedback voltage so obviously feedback voltage so output into feedback factor how we get the feedback voltage so feedback voltage is given by a beta into this output voltage so this output voltage and feedback network feedback network provide a feedback factor which is a beta so beta into output voltage so this so feedback voltage is beta into output voltage so this beta is a feedback factor which is provided by this feedback network so feedback voltage is a beta into output voltage but we know the output voltage output voltage into a input voltage so we put the value of output voltage which is a into input voltage so for oscillator vf that means feedback voltage must act as input voltage and it is possible only when gain and feedback factor is equal to 1 the magnitude of gain and feedback factor is equal to 1 and the phase of feedback is same as the input that means this input signal this input signal and this feedback signal are of same phase that means positive cycle positive cycle negative cycle this negative cycle so this is the condition of barkhusen criteria that the gain and feedback factor must be one the product of gain and feedback factor must be equal to one and the phase of feedback voltage and input voltage is same so when so when these basic requirement are completed so this is this is the two conditions of oscillator and these two condition are called as the barkhusen criteria these two condition are called as the barkhusen criteria the first is the magnitude of a into b is equal to 1 or less than unity it is equal to 1 or less than 1 and total phase shift is a 360 degree the product of gain and feedback factor is equal to 1 and the total phase shift is 360 degree. So, these two conditions is called, are called as the Barkhausen criteria. The circuit work and work as an oscillator, these two, two conditions discussed above are called as the Barkhausen criteria. So, the Barkhausen criteria state that the magnitude of product of loop gain, this A, A means the gain of amplifier and magnitude of feedback factor beta is unity that means is one that means the magnitude of product of a gain and feedback factor is equal to one and total phase shift phase shift around a loop as the signal proceeded from input through amplifier and completing loop must be 360 degree that means the second condition is total phase shift is 360 degree so barkhausen criteria state that the magnitude of magnitude of product of amplifier again and feedback factor is equal to one and total phase shift is zero degree or 360 degree so this is the barkhausen criteria which is used for a oscillator and 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 when and which electronic circuit that satisfy these two criteria are called as a oscillator okay now the tap and undamp oscillation may be produced according to the condition occur why why this amplifier this amplifier gain and this feedback factor is equal to one what happen when it is greater than 1 or it is less than 1? Why it is exactly 1? So, because if, if the magnitude of amplifier gain and feedback factor is greater than 1 and the total phase shift is 360 degree, then output or output oscillation are growing up so when the feed, when the magnitude of amplifier again and feedback factor is greater than 1 then we get the output in this way we get the output in this manner that means a growing type that means this oscillation are growing see here here the oscillation is small and when the oscillation is goes on it is grow on the height of this the height of amplitude is increases that means it's completely gone when total phase shift around the loop 0 or 360 and amplifier 
gain of amplifier and feedback factor is less than one, then the oscillator are decaying. Decaying main oscillation are decreasing. Oscillation are decreasing. In such case, amplitude decreases. When the feedback factor and when the amplitude, uh, when the amplifier gain and feedback factor is greater than one, then the amplitude is increases. And when feedback amplifier gain and feedback factor is less than one, then amplitude are decreases. So in such case, amplitude decreases exponentially and oscillation finally decreases. The decaying oscillation. But when feedback factor but when amplitude amplifier gain and feedback factor is equal to 1 then we get the proper oscillation with same amplitude or with a constant amplitude so it said that barkhausen criteria when total phase shift is 360 degree and positive uh, ensuring positive feedback and amplifier gain and feedback factor is equal to 1 then oscillation are of constant frequency and constant amplitude that means we get sustained oscillation. So therefore, the feedback factor and amplifier gain sh should be 1. The product of amplifier gain and feedback factor is equal to 1. But when it is greater than 1, then amplitude is decreases. Sorry, amplitude is increases. When it is greater than 1, then amplitude is increases. And when it is less than 1, then amplitude is decreases. But it equal to 1 we get constant amplitude and constant frequency. So therefore, for, uh, therefore the bar Hussein criteria said that the magnitude of product of gain of amplifier A and feedback factor B is equal to 1 and total phase shift is 360 degree. So this is the bar Hussein criteria that satisfy the given circuit is oscillator. Okay. Now we will stop here. In next lecture, we will see the different type of oscillators. Okay. Now we will stop here.